Common Bicycle Accidents, Injuries, and Causes. Hello, folks, and thanks for joining us back at Hammer TV. I'm Jim Adler, the tough, smart lawyer, and today we're going to discuss a topic that is both very important but also typically under-discussed, which is bicycle accidents. We'll take a look at some of the most common types of accidents, what causes them, what injuries typically occur, and what you can do before and after a crash to protect yourself. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. Bikes are becoming a more and more frequent sight on streets, roads, and trails across the country as their popularity for both commute and recreation increases. But while they are a more environmentally friendly and healthier alternative to riding in a car, they also carry with them more inherent dangers as well. According to the National Traffic Highway Safety Association, there were 857 bicyclists killed in traffic crashes in the United States in 2018. The NHTSA also reports that a majority of bicyclist deaths occur between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. And 75% of bicycle fatalities occurred in cities, with 25% happening in more rural communities. There are a number of different causes of bike accidents, but they typically stem from some sort of negligence on the part of the rider, a car driver, the bike or equipment manufacturer, or the government failing to maintain a roadway. A life-changing accident can just as easily happen if a bike rider fails to signal, if a distracted driver swerves out of their lane, if a helmet or bike is faulty, or if the road is full of potholes or improper signage. Just as there are many different causes, there are many different types of injuries that a person can sustain in a bicycle accident. Head injuries, in particular, are very common in bicycle accidents, ranging from contusions and concussions to skull fractures and traumatic brain injuries. Victims may also suffer broken bones, contusions, spinal injuries, road rash, or other similar injuries, either from impacting the road, a vehicle, or a stationary object, such as a guardrail or curb. The best way to protect yourself from a bicycle accident is to be vigilant and be visible. Always wear visible clothing and let someone know where you're going and when you expect to be back. And anytime you're riding, be vigilant about your actions and driving defensively. Bicycle accidents, as you might guess, are almost always much worse for the bicyclist than they are for whoever else is involved. And accidents can and do happen. Often, despite the bicyclist's vigilance and best intentions. If you or a loved one is injured in a bicycle accident, the best thing you can do is to get help. First, in the form of medical care. Then, once you are hopefully on your path to recovery, seek out help in the form of a personal injury attorney, especially if your crash was the result of negligence on the part of someone else. You could be entitled to compensation to help you pay your medical bills and account for lost wages if you miss time at work. If you have questions about this information or would like to discuss your case, you can get in touch with Jim Adler and Associates by way of the contact form at jimadler.com or by giving us a call at 1-800-567-7575. Thank you very much for listening and watching.